Hey, it's Hunger Action Day and we're here from Second Harvest of Silicon Valley. I'm Ali. I'm Maria. And I'm Melissa. And we're here to talk about the Food Rescue Program today. So just to give you some background, why food rescue is important. Um, so we are serving our community by diverting food from the landfill and we're also um, combating climate change. So any food that goes into the landfill or even compost emits some greenhouse gases. And the more that we can divert that food and give it to people our, in our community is beneficial for our local community as well as the environment. And I'm just gonna ask a couple of questions. How do we work with retailers and partners to rescue food and get it out in the community? So we strategically connect our partner agencies. These can be shelters, schools, faith-based organizations, um, community centers. We strategically partner these um, agencies with donor retail stores. Um, our agencies will perform multiple weekly pickups at these donor retail locations. Currently we have 80 partner agencies that pick up from 175 retail donors. Examples of these would be Safeway, Costco, 99 Ranch, Trader Joe's, and so many more. How many pounds of food do we rescue every year on average? Last year we rescued over 17 million pounds of food and our goal for this year is 20 million. And what kind of food items get donated? Well, we're actually here today at Reaching Out in San Jose with Daryl and Angela. Let's take a look at what they picked up from their route that they just got back on. So here we've got a lot of great product. So you can see, um, you know, there's a mixture of dry goods and we have some milk here. We also receive a lot of deli pre-made items, which our clients love. A lot of great fresh produce, including fruit. Um, we've got some beautiful melons over here, some Lunchables, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of great bakery items too. Some fresh bread, some muffins. We also receive a lot of non-food donations like toilet paper, hygiene items, um, household cleaners, and that type of thing. A lot of great stuff. And what would you say are some logistics and challenges surrounding food rescue? I'll answer that one. <laughs> so some of the logistics and challenges I think are that people don't realize how challenging this work is. Um, a pickup looks very simple, but there's a lot of work that we do on the back end. So for example, an agency, they need a vehicle, uh, they need staff or a volunteer to go conduct the pickup, they need money for gas, at their back at their agency site, they need refrigeration, they need freezer space, storage space. So that's kind of the basic level of being able to do the pickup. And on the donor end, they need staff to be able to scan the food out of their inventory system and also separate the waste from the donation. So that's a lot of back-end work that they do. And then here at the food bank, when we're strategically pairing agency partners, we're taking into account where the agency is located and where the donor is located. Um, and we're also taking into account the capacity. So if a donor has large-scale donations, we wouldn't necessarily pair them with a small agency partner. So that's the stuff that you don't see. And the pickup looks very smooth, but there can be some challenges involved with that. Um, also, during COVID times, there were agencies that had to shut down and couldn't do their pickups, so other agency partners subbed in and we would logistically work that out. So though it's challenging, this is very rewarding work when we're able to pair an agency with a donor and they have a good relationship and the community is loving the food that they're receiving, we feel very good about the work that we do in that way. What are some ways that we can help um, with food waste at home? Okay, so before I joined the food bank, I didn't know much about like code dates, date labels, things like that. So I learned about this, when should I eat this poster, which is also on our website. And I use it at my own home. So date, code dates, sell by date, best by dates, those are quality dates and they're not expiration dates, which is something that I learned working at the food bank. Um, so there's, as you can see, there are some products where you can consume them after their best by date. So eggs, four to five weeks after their best by sell by date, milk, seven days, and so on. So I use this at my own home 
and um, it has saved a lot of food from going in my own waste bin. So I definitely recommend that you check this out online. And I think that we have our, so uh, reaching out, Daryl from reaching out is gonna come and answer some questions about the pickup process since he's the driver that does the pickups and gets all the food here. So we are here with Daryl today of Reaching Out. Uh, Daryl, tell us a little bit about your daily life as a grocery rescue driver. Well, I get here in the morning and I have a certain store that I go to on certain days. On Mondays, I go to five stores. I go to Safeway Almaden, Safeway Cottle, Sprouts, Target, uh, Oak Ridge, and Costco. That's my five on Mondays. And also do those same five on Friday. So that's that's the way it works, you know. You know, and then on Tuesdays, I go to two stores only, or three, three of them. I go to Ranch 99, Marina, and Target at the plant. And that's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, most of the time when I come here in the morning, I uh, get my truck ready and everything, and I go out to my uh, stores, and I have great service with my stores. Everybody knows me. Everybody got my phone number. If I go one day and they have more than what they I can get in the truck, I'll, they'll call me and I'll let me know, hey, Daryl, you have a great load today. You need a lot of space. So we have a good communication with all the stores. And uh, I, I enjoy doing it because I know that people that I get the groceries for, they appreciate it. Because before I did this job, I gave out food at the church. Amazing. What would you say your favorite part of doing this kind of work is? Communication, getting out the house, because I retired, <laughs> and just enjoying people. You know, I enjoy working with people. I enjoy doing things like that. When I was a kid, my father did the same thing, so I'm doing the same thing my dad did. That's so awesome. Thanks, Daryl. Thank you. You're welcome. So thanks everyone for tuning in for Hunger Action Day. We love the work that we do with Food Rescue and we hope that you learned something today and enjoy what we do too. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Bye. <laughs> hey, enjoy guys and hey, anytime.